coming from a from from a, a very strong Jewish identity, you know, had a bar mitzvah, um, uh, was in synagogue every week, was in Hebrew school every week growing up, um, and and then I had a a, a girlfriend in, in my first year of high school who. Um, you know, we said, well, well I'm, w when I have kids, you know, Christmas is a big part of what we're going to do, and that's it. You know, and I thought, well, I, if I want to be with this lady, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. You know, so love also helps, I think, you know, take these things apart and put them back together again. I think that was an important element of it. Um, and then at, at the same time, you know, the arts, I think, are a big part of it as well. I always loved gospel music at the same time. I'm not sure why, but I think it was something that at the very core just sort of spoke to me. Um, on a level that I couldn't really understand. And I was at this, this gospel concert, and um, the, uh, the, 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 the band leader um, said, okay, you know, uh, everybody, it was in a secular venue, right? So everybody, um, it's going to be a call and response, and when, when I say, who do you love, you're going to say Jesus. <laughs> and... And I was standing there, and I was totally, like, shocked. And this guy, he was totally ready for it, right? He knew, he knew this crowd just by looking at us. And then he said, you know, I'm, you can basically think about whatever it is that you love. You know, I love Jesus, and, and this, is, this is, you know, I'm calling that name is basically the embodiment of the things that I love in the world. And whatever it is that you love, that's fine, but we're in this moment, we're, we're going to be using that name, Jesus, to, to name that thing. And it was like this light bulb went on in my head. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a complete understanding of Christian theology, and it didn't sort of like put to rest all the things that I, that I thought about um, Christian history and, and, and all that sort of thing. But, but I thought, oh, you know, I can get behind that. You know, there's this idea of God being this embodiment of love, and there are all these different names for, for God, and some people call, say, God, or Adonai, or Jesus, or Allah, or, you know, th there are many different conceptions for it, whatever the case is. And I was thinking, and, and it sort of opened me up, and as I was thinking on the way home about the organizing work that I was doing on campus um, around, uh, in this case, it was around labor issues. We had a, a labor fight on campus. Um, I was thinking, you know, if I look at this example of the life of Jesus, Jesus is just like a really good community organizer. And I can get behind that idea. You know, Jesus as community organizer, I'm on it. That's fine. I can, I can, I can work with that concept. So that sort of opened me up a little bit more. And I started um, talking then to my, my Baha'i relatives as well and asking them a little bit about, you know, what what is this Baha'i faith and what, is the, what are the tenets of it? My grandmother, who came to the Baha'i faith a little bit later in life as an adult, you know, she sat me down, she gave me some books. I talked to some uh, cousins of mine. They talked to me a little bit more. Actually, it was just in Dunbarton Oaks over here um, that I had my first real conversation about these things. And, and I thought, okay, you know, these, the embodiment of this faith is really, it's, it's something that I can, I can, um, I, I can see where I fit in with this, and I can see where this vision is, um, can help me.